morning, everybody. We are heading out on the strip today. How long has it been? It's been since 13 bees hunt, so at least a month. And we haven't shed hunted. I don't even know how long ago did we shed hunt. It's been a couple days. It's been a while. So we are getting out. Look, we got we got a special uh, star here, Chayden's friend Kenny. Special K. We got Che and Ruru. Remy got to come out with us today. We are gonna hit it hard. It's two days before Christmas, and um, I have a feeling I've got a Christmas present sitting out here waiting for me. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Wow. Yesterday was Josh's birthday, and yes, he, it's just another day. Yeah, he uh, had a great day relaxing. So today, now we're gonna hit it hard, and we are gonna go and find some sheds. So excited! The snow. We actually, we actually planned to do this trip um, two days ago. The day was it the day before your birthday? Yeah. And I looked at the weather. The, that day it said we weren't supposed to have moisture till January 3rd and I believed it because we haven't had moisture forever and ever and ever been forever just so happens that night it decided to rain and snow so we didn't get to go out just we weren't prepared we will come out in the rain and we snow didn't want to but with it. yeah it was just one of those things we really should have got our butts out of bed and done it anyways but we just skipped one day. We're out here, huh? Yep. So, we'll check back in in a bit. I like to look at these rocks. They're really cool how they hollow out from the wind and at one time water. They remind me of the Flintstones. Come on, look at this. It's pretty cool. I like when we're in country that you can like have lots of different things different uh, terrain, like it changes often. Keeps you entertained. It's where I'd hide if it was raining. You can't take your eyes off the road in this country. Just as you do, you find something like that to kick into. That, or you get caught up in that if you're not watching. So you have to also be aware, not only zone out on the sheds, unless you want to you'd be picking out some cactus needles for a while when you get home. Okay, so first shed of the day. I just a couple fingers over that way glassing, and I glassed up uh, what looks to be just a nice four point. Four point shed. I'm just crossing this canyon now, getting over to where it was at. Oh, should be right on his finger somewhere. <clears throat> kind of forced to come down here in this new, this is new country for me. I've never hit this. Um, close to it, but not this. The snow's kind of pushed us to this spot. That bad boy should be right here somewhere. Uh, oh, it's over here a little farther. I see the tree I was using as a reference. Yeah. Right there. It's a nice four point one, big old G4 on it. Older too. Cool eye guard. First horn of the trip. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ruru found a shed! Show us, Ru! Come here, show us. Right, got up on top of the sail. And she came up to me with that freaking horn. She's the first one to find one today. Good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. Nice find, girl. 
Do you have a tennis ball? I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, good job, Che. I'm proud of you. Now she gets her tennis ball. <laughs> oh, oh. Good job, Brill. She's obsessed with that. Holy crap. <laughs> that was too cool. When she finds one, that always makes me excited because then I'm like, okay, she does, she gets it. All right. Remy found a cool little hideout. All right. Awesome little cave. Probably seashells in there. <laughs> that would be a good shelter. Well, today is the first. I'm ready to go, and Josh is not. I'm still unpacking and packing and moving and whatever <laughs> else I got going on here. Well, we also realized that we're carrying about extra uh, ten extra pounds in our bags for no specific reason other At than all. to torture ourselves. So he's cleaning out his bag real fast. I already cleaned mine out. I'm ready to rock and roll and go and find some shit today. It is January 2nd, the day after New Year's. Yay. We just chilled yesterday at home, watched movies, did nothing, which is so boring. It kills me. I hate sitting at home. I want to be doing something always. I think it drives him crazy. Well, at least I have some a spunk and I want to do stuff. Right? Right. What am I writing? <laughs> Well, actually, I should say a bunch of things right now that you're not listening to and then just say, right? <laughs> I'm trying to get ready. You agree? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. So far, today's weather's turning out, starting out awesome. We got a mild uh, overcast and uh, a gentle breeze. I hope it stays like this all day long. If it does, we should be able to cover some country. And this country needs to be covered. It's pretty thick. It's open, but there's a lot of ground, ground brush that makes it really hard to see uh, antlers in. Lots of sage. So, hopefully this weather stays like this all day and uh, we can find this giant set we're looking for. Okay, we are on the board, finally, for the day. Old jet, man, it's way old. Old three point, it looks like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh man, look at that thing. <laughs> Goofier and then get up. I don't even know. It's, that's the base. It's the back end. Hmm. Well, we're not going home empty handed. Which is a good thing. Um, the weather's awesome. The, everything right now is just primo. And uh, it's still pretty early. So hopefully, hopefully we can find a few more. So. Old Chalkosaurus. Chalk donkey. Check out this old rusty bucket I found. Pretty good shape. I don't know how old it is, but it's not beat up too bad. Dinted it up. Pretty cool. Some of the things you find. Britt will probably get mad at me for not keeping that. <laughs> I thought I'd just right over here in this little opening just kind of glassing across this uh, little sagebrush draw. It's not very deep. It's pretty thick though. And uh, I think I might have a shed over here on the other side. I'm not 100%. Um, it, it looks like a couple tines. So we're going to go over here and actually check it out. I'll show you. It's uh like right up right up in there somewhere hopefully 
Fingers crossed. Alright guys, what do you think? Think a bobcat got a bird? Whole bunch of feathers. Look at them all. Snacked on it right there. Pretty cool. Alright guys, so we were just going to check out a new spot real quick before it got dark. It's been a slow day. We hiked our butts off. I found that one chalker, but it was a good day. It was a fun day. We eliminated some of the area that we needed to, but rover's right there. We were just glassing up here, and I'm pretty sure I got a shed just up past that burnt tree right there. So Let's go check it out. Okay, we're getting up to it. Looks like a pretty good shed. Heavy shed. Not too old. Cool look. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will take that all day long. Right on. Let's stamp some pictures of it really quick. All right, we got it. Heavy buck, either uh, just a freak or a younger buck that's going to be big, big, I, I don't know, just goofy, goofy three-point basically, heavy, heavy, he's probably a young buck, good eye guard though, oh. sweet, oh man, I'll tell you what, Trips like this make it tough. But, makes you more grateful for what you do find though. So. All right guys, so we are calling it a day. The sun is headed down and I am leaving with no shoes. <laughs> Josh just found one. Um, we we're glassing on our way out and he just found one off the road which is this great big old nice heavy three point that's a nice horn especially for finding it right off the road yeah big it's a big it is big look at the buck. eye guard on it hopefully he the does base. something yeah that is that's way i wouldn't have been sad to pick that up never sad <laughs> Shut up. so and he also found a really big uh what one that's Chalk wasted fish. away this is a good horn. I'm, I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, We're heading home. That's the end. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.